Hello, welcome again to Adventures in Pop-Ups. This is the place you come for your questions, campsite reviews, tips and tricks, hacks and mods to make your camping adventures more awesome, more amazing, more fun, and less work. Yeah, that's a mouthful. We do a lot here, and we hope that you check everything out because we've got some good content. If you haven't subscribed, go, go ahead and do so now. Ring the bell. And today we are talking about the pros and cons of getting a pop-up camper. Before we get going, if you have a question about related to pop-up camping in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and drop it in the comments. We are adding it to our list of this series of answering your questions. So without further ado, mm -hmm. what are the pros and cons of pop-up camping? Um, I would say probably the number one, what is the number one pro? I would say We've got the towability factor because it's compact for towing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Number one pro is not sleeping on the ground <laughs> and worrying about being flooded. Okay, that's, that's the number one pro. Yes. Have you ever been tent camping and got flooded out? We were tent camp or we were pop-up camping early on and it rained really hard and our neighbors <laughs> had tents and we felt so bad for them. Uh, yes, it's not really funny. That's kind of sad, right? Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about upgrading from a tent, uh, it's got all the pros. I mean, you're off the ground, you've got amenities from home, creature comforts, a bed, a, a stove, a fridge, maybe some air conditioning. A grill, some of them have heat. ovens. All kinds of goodies. Those are, there's a, a long- A bathroom? Your woo, own private bathroom? A cassette toilet, hey. Something. So yeah, there's lots of pros. It's it's lighter, it's cheaper than a larger RV. It is more towable than a larger RV. It's better on gas mileage because it's lighter. You can tow it uh, depending on the camper, possibly with your minivan or other smaller vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, which we will talk more about in a further future video. It's a lot more affordable than a motor home or a bigger travel trailer. Um, so a pop-up camper is a great way to uh, upgrade your camping experience and be able to travel uh, and save a lot of money on hotel rooms. You can go and visit different places, parks. Um, I know we went to Yellowstone in 2012 um, and you know those hotel rooms, they aren't cheap, right? Uh, well, we came back 10 years later uh, with the rest of our kids and with bigger kids. And, you know, I think our main expense was gas, right? You know, just getting out there and and uh, food, eating while we were there. But it, what did our stay cost? Less than one night in a in a lodge. Which, so, by the way, also another pro that reminds me of is that pop up campers, because of their smaller compactness, they can get into better spaces. Yeah, um, that's a huge pro. If you have a big class ABC, um, there's a lot of national parks that you're going to have trouble fitting in. Yeah, longer travel trailers, fifth wheels, and your bigger motor homes, class A's. <laughs> yeah, a lot, the smaller ones don't have that problem, but if you're comparing it to the bigger ones, Pop-Up Camper has a major advantage of being able to fit into smaller places. You can even finagle it. If your driveway is a little short, you you know, the bunk can pop off the end into the grass a little. But one of the other pros is having a tent-like feel still. You, know, yes. you have a lot of canvas, and um, people are worried about air conditioning or heat and cooling. And um, Yeah, you gotta watch it in extreme heat or in extreme cold. I don't think many people are camping when it's freezing out. Yeah, having a tent feel, feeling like you're outside and, um, but yeah, Reflectix helps with heating and cooling in your windows and on your roof. And so what else, what are the cons? Well, the cons, you know, the tent feel is a pro in our opinion, yes. but that is also a con because you're losing insulation factor, you're losing um, privacy. sound, privacy, privacy, like because you can hear your neighbors and they can hear you mm -hmm. more. You can hear through tin cans also, yeah. but uh, right. it's it's exaggerated with the tent. Yep. Um, other, other cons would be... Um, the biggest con for a pop-up camper is your teardown time. It takes a solid 35 to 45 minutes if you're moving, if you've done stuff the night before. Um, I just think it takes 25 minutes to set up at about 45 minutes an hour to tear down. If you do a whole bunch like she does or we do sometimes, 
you can shave it down if you have help in 35 to 40 minutes. So yeah, that is a con of pop-up camping is that you do have the extra stud up and extra tear down. But in my opinion, it's not that much and it's totally worth it compared to all the pros that there are. Some people it's not worth it to us. We love it and it's worth it. Uh, it's not that much extra work to me. What are your pros and cons to pop-up camping? Have you been pop-up camping? Do you own a pop-up camper? We want to know what you own. What do you have? Do you like it? Do you love it? What do you want? What's on your bucket list? Are you going to upgrade? We do have another video similar to this about why we got a pop-up camper, why we picked a pop-up camper again when we were in the market for a different or a larger camper. If you'd like to check that one out, it's over here. Also, keep on the series because we've got more content coming for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment. We love to hear from you guys and happy camping. Happy camping.